Hey guys, what's up? It's Patrick here, and today bringing you guys the next episode of my Let's Play Clash of Clans series, where we're finally upgrading our base up to Town Hall 7. And like I've said before, going from Town Hall 6 to Town Hall 7 is one of the biggest jumps in the game. We're going to get a new army camp, a new barracks, two cannons, archer tower, 50 walls, one air defense, a mortar, a new defense in the hidden Tesla. We're going to get a barbarian king, a dark elixir storage. You guys don't even know what dark elixir is, as well as a dark barracks and a couple of other traps. So it's safe to say this is one of the biggest Town Hall jumps in the game and you unlock a bunch of different stuff as well as upgrading your troops from level 3 to level 4 is one of the most significant upgrades in my opinion in the game so big stuff happening let's go ahead and rush through a couple of bases it's going to cost us 1.2 million gold and hopefully we find some good ones like this and we'll be able to speed through it pretty easily once again, I'm completely maxed out on Elixir, which is a bummer, and I'm getting super depressed finding these bases because, honestly, I get these all the time at Town Hall 6, but on my Town Hall 9 account, I have to search for, like, 25 minutes and spend 150,000 gold to find anything close to this. It's really, really depressing, but I guess I'm just going to take it while I can, and uh, up until Town Hall 8, we're going to find an insane amount of resources, so this definitely won't go away as we upgrade our Town Hall. So attacking this guy's base, definitely going to focus on the gold mines first, like I said. There are two gold storages, and if I could take one of those, I guess I would be pretty happy. And let's go ahead and keep mowing through with our troops and see how far we can get into this guy's base. So it looks like that mortar's going down, which is going to help out a bit. And now we're just really focused on the two gold mines up top, as well as that gold storage on the top as well. There is a gold storage on the left, but it's being protected by a wizard tower, and I'm not exactly sure if we'll be able to take it out. Alright, so up top, I'm going to drop another set of wall breakers to break through, as well as the barbarians, archers, and goblins to get those two gold mines. And then after that, there is one gold storage left, but I don't know if we're going to be able to take it out. We might be able to do a little bit of damage with my archers, and maybe these four goblins right here, I can drop those to help out. Uh, but I don't think we'll be able to get that final gold storage, and we are just going to leave a little bit on the table. But honestly, what's 40,000 gold to 290,000 gold, I don't really care. And uh, after this, or the rest of my troops get shot down, we can go ahead and end this battle and uh, wrap it up for this raid. So I was sort of hoping that that archer would stay away from the wizard tower and shoot the gold storage, but of course, the archer and the archer queen never do what you want them to do. So I ended the battle there, 259,000, gold, and, or sorry, 259,000 gold and 208,000 elixir, and let's go ahead and move on to the next raid. Alright, so for this guy's base, this guy actually has a really funny base because look at how many resources he has. He has 300,000 on the dot and 225,000 elixir on the dot. And whenever you see a base like this, you know every single dime of gold is going to be in the gold mines and every single drop of elixir is going to be in the elixir pumps. Whenever it's super even like this, it's definitely all in the mines and pumps. And as you can see, I'm getting an exact 50,000 for every gold mine I take down. So that's going to do it for the gold. I really don't need that much elixir, so I can sort of just surrender here rather than waste any more of my troops. I'm already maxed out at 2 million, and in the end, I stole 300,000 resources for 15 seconds of work. So really, not too bad of a profit for that raid, and uh, let's go ahead and look at this next base here. Alright, so for this guy's base, more of the same thing. Most of this guy's stuff is going to be inside of his gold mines, but rather than be lazy and boring, or rather than be boring, I guess, I decided to attack his base and get three stars. I definitely want to make sure my trophy count's up, because at Town Hall 7, we're going to want to stick around 1,200 trophies, and that's going to give us a lot of different bases to attack that have a lot of resources available. So I'll try to three-star this guy, get 25 trophies, as well as all of the resources, and let's go ahead and attack this guy's base. So attacking from the bottom, I'm going to drop a couple of my archers. I'm going to drop a giant in just a second, but unfortunately that air defense on the outside is going to distract him, whereas my archers, I sort of wanted to make a meat shield for them, so I'm going to take care of that air defense as soon as possible, and then I'll start dropping the rest of my troops and hopefully make my way into this guy's base. So at this point, I'm a little bit disappointed about how it's went. I only have 10 barbarians and one archer left, and then the rest of the troops I have are goblins. So I'm going to go ahead and break through the very top right, and uh, hopefully I can take most of the resources if I'm not able to get three stars in this raid. But the cool thing about the goblins is, after they destroy all the resources, like the mines and pumps and storages, they're going to go ahead and switch and attack the rest of the buildings, and in this case, they're actually going to switch and attack the archer tower's mortar and uh, that final archer tower on the top left. So only the storages are left. They're going to go ahead and take those guys out pretty quickly. And uh, in the event that I run out of goblins right there, I still have 18 left. But overall, we're going to be able to destroy those buildings and get another 3-star on this raid. So things went pretty well there. Like I said, I didn't have to do that. I could have just dropped my troops on the top right and taken all of the resources with the goblins and surrendered. But I did want to get 3 stars, 25 trophies, 150,000 gold. And let's go ahead and do another raid and see if we can steal some more resources.
So for this final base, there's only 100,000 gold available, but I'm sitting at 1.1 million and that's all I need to upgrade my town hall. So wall breakers on the very bottom, only need a couple of goblins to destroy those level 9 gold mines, and then after that, we should be good to go and we can head back to base and do an upgrade to my town hall. And seeing as I do have some troops left over and I don't have to do any more raids, as well as I have infinite amount of elixir right now, I can go ahead and destroy the rest of the buildings and try to get to 50% on this guy's base. So I'll just drop a couple of troops on the left to take care of those elixir pumps and the barracks. And uh, yeah, that should wrap it up for the raid, and we're going to get a pretty easy one star against this guy's base. Like I said, nothing amazing, but rather than searching forever and pulling my hair out, that's going to do it for this one. And let's go ahead and end the battle and see what we got. So pretty much 100,000 on the dot, a little bit of elixir to pay for our troops. Let's head back to base, upgrade our town hall, and we can finally say goodbye to town hall 6. So it looks pretty good having those full elixir storages and semi-full gold storages, but now we're going to go ahead and spend it and upgrade our town hall like I said. And I already went through all the new stuff that we got, but it's going to be pretty epic. We're going to have a lot of stuff to build. Our builder huts are going to be really, really busy, and I can't wait to show you guys Dark Elixir as well as grind for that Barbarian King. Alright guys, that's going to wrap it up for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys enjoyed Town Hall 6, let me know with a like below. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video at Town Hall 7. Peace out.